Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to this free Stata online course. I will introduce Stata commands for graphics and data visualization. There are three modules in this course. In the first module, you will learn how to draw histograms, box plots, and density plots for a single continuous variable. You can visualize the distribution of the continuous variable and be able to find the median, the maximum and minimum values and other statistics of the variable. You can also graph bar charts and pie charts for a single categorical variable and show the frequency or percentage for each category. We use the stata command histogram to draw a histogram for a continuous variable. A continuous variable can take any real number. When we see a continuous variable, we usually want to know its distribution, whether it is normally distributed or is right or left skewed. The histogram command helps us visualize the distribution. It demonstrates how many observations are in a specific range and where observations concentrate. The basic graph syntax is histogram x, where x is a continuous variable. We can also use graph two-way histogram x. All the graph commands begin with the word graph, but here the word graph is optional. We can type two-way histogram x. Histogram plots are in the two-way family. There are six different families in Stata graphics. Bar, box, dot, matrix, pi, and two-way. Two-way family has 42 different plot types. The histogram plot is one of them. For histograms, we can type histogram or even the abbreviation hist to draw the same histogram. We use the dataset Bob for this course. Please download the dataset from the course resource link. The dataset contains information on workers between 25 to 54 years of age in the United States. Hourly wage is a continuous variable. We type histogram hourly wage. The x-axis is the hourly wage from the minimum value to the maximum value. On the y-axis, we see the density. The sum of the areas of the beams is equal to 1. The histogram gives a clear vision of how the hourly wages are distributed. From the graph, we find that first, the highest frequency of hourly wage is around $19. Second, we also see that the hourly wage distribution is right skewed. A right skewed distribution is one in which the long tail is on the right side. Next, let's explore the graph options for the histogram plots. We can change the number of beans by using the option bean and putting the number in the round bracket. Here are the graphs for 10 beans. and 100 beans. We can also change the setting of the bean width. For example, we specify the bean width equals $5, but we could not specify both because we can derive either one from the other. We can present percentages or frequencies on the y-axis. We use the percent option or the frequency option. The graphs look almost the same. The only difference is the title and the values on the y-axis. When we use the percent option, the areas of the beans sum up to 100. When we use the frequency option, the areas of the beans sum up to the total observations. 
that is 4,183 in this sample. We can add the height labels to the bins. We can do that with the Add Labels option. Finally, let me illustrate why we often use the histogram to examine the distribution of a variable before we run regressions. In our example, the histogram shows that the hourly wage is right skewed. In our econometric course, we have learned that if the models at a term is not normally distributed, the T statistics and the F statistics do not follow a T distribution or an F distribution, at least in a small sample. Therefore, the T test and the F test are not valid. In our example, it is better to transform the hourly wage to the log of hourly wage and check whether it is normally distributed. Yes, it looks much better.